You're live in the CNN newsroom. I'm Ana Cabrera in New York. Thanks for being with us. Breaking news this hour in Texas. A crane collapse in Dallas turns deadly. We're learning at least one person was killed and another six injured too critically when this huge crane fell onto an apartment building. And now authorities have concerns about attempting any rescue missions for people who might still be trapped. Listen. There is a wall that has suffered significant damage and at this point no one is confident that sending anyone inside of that structure is gonna, gonna, gonna help it maintain its stability. So that, that's one of the places that we're looking at and that's actually where the primary uh, point of concern is. I want to bring in a witness who saw the crane collapse onto that building. Joining us now on the phone is Sammy Sandquist in Dallas. Sammy, first, what was the first sign of trouble you saw today? Well, when we were um, approaching the apartment, we weren't actually there when it had happened. But when we walked up, um, nothing was roped off yet. There were about six uh, firefighters, fire trucks driving past us. Um, we were approaching, seeing cars so getting there, um, we could see that the crane had, from the east side of the building, crashed into the apartment complex that we live in. Um, we know that it has hit structural damage on floor, for every single floor at some part of it. Um, it's hit the parking garage. We don't quite know yet if our, our car is there. We haven't even been able to get into our apartment to see if it's okay or to see if we have any damage. Wow. So you live in this building. Uh, do you know of anybody who was actually injured? We don't know anybody who is injured, no. Um, at least we don't think we know anybody who's injured. And what are you hearing about what's next? Um, so right now they have a list. We're across the street. Um, we still can't get into the apartment. So the people at the Latino Cultural Center were there, um, and they have a list of every resident who lives in the apartment complex. And they're having people go up to the list and check their name off of that to make sure they can account for everybody. Um, we don't know if they've accounted for everybody or I know they're going in to check for people still and animals still. So we're watching people come out with animals all the time right now. We're looking at images and we see incredible destruction in these images. Talk to me about mm -hmm. what was happening at the time this crane collapsed. I understand that this area had severe weather today and very heavy winds. Yeah, uh, we don't know yet if a tornado hit or not. Um, right now, we don't know if it was just wind. We don't know if it was tornado. We know that there was the thunderstorm that had hit. Um, it was raining like crazy. Um, and so that was the weather that happened. It's lightened up right now. There's no rain and blue skies on one side and clouds on the other still. Wow, Sammy Sanquist, I appreciate you taking the time and sharing with us what you know, what you saw, what you heard. I appreciate it. Now I want to bring in another eyewitness. Joining us on the phone as well is Abby Carney. And Abby, we have some photos from you. Describe for me what you saw when this crane started to fall. Um, it was just a normal sunny day. Um, and there was people at the pool. We live over the pool. And uh, my husband and I had just gotten back in town from a wedding the day before. And um, we noticed it got really dark really quickly, so we walked outside onto our patio, and um, the wind picked up uh, incredibly quickly. And um, my husband made a comment, they better get the umbrellas in or else they're going to go flying. And no sooner did he say that than three of them just shot straight up in the air. Um, all the pool furniture went into the pool. And I happened to say, what if the cranes fall? Are they going to fall in this building? And almost immediately after that, we saw one fall and it just sliced through the building. I mean, not to be cliche, but like a hot knife through butter. And it went from the fifth floor all the way through to, from what I can tell, at least the third floor. Um, so that was quite a, quite a shock. And then of course there's people running around the hallways trying to figure out what to do. And I believe we found out that a second crane had fallen on the parking garage. And so we walked out to the parking garage to check um, our vehicles and we just saw cars everywhere. Um, I don't even know how to describe it. There's cars that were vertical. There was cars from maybe the eighth floor all the way down onto the third floor where we park and where we saw where you see the pictures from. And it was just, it, it was just insane. Um, we saw fire rescue getting people out of the maybe the second or third story in the front of the building, which is not the part that I saw um, fall. But it was, it was something that I've, unlike anything I've ever seen. 
Wow, so just to clarify, you believe there may have been more than one crane that fell, or are you not sure? So from what I know, there are two cranes that were um, building a very large structure right across the street from us, and not a very big street at all. But there were two cranes, and I'm not sure if both of them fell um, or if it was the same crane that um, fell on two parts of the building. I mean, they were massive cranes, so I, I can't confirm or deny uh, that there were two, but Got I know it. that there were two at the at the construction site. Abby, how close were you to the building when the crane collapsed? I was in the building. Um, you were inside so the building, but it, not the one that the crane fell on. Like a, um, <laughs> sorry, I'm in I'm in downtown Dallas, and there's party pubs going by. Um, That's okay. We can still but, hear you. <laughs> I was actually in the building, and our building has two different, two different, um, basically squares that are linked by one hallway. And uh, I overlooked the pool, um, and the crane actually fell on the opposite side of our building, which that's why we were able to see it fall, um, and it wow. fell right over the pool. But there were still people at the pool when we walked out there, so I'm just praying that everybody got out okay. Yeah, no kidding. We understand one person is now confirmed dead and at least six others are injured. Could you hear anything from any potential victims? No, and that was the scary part. Um, I mean, clearly anybody that was on the fifth floor in that apartment, um, I'm, I'm just praying that there was no one because there was no movement. Even when we left, we evacuated probably about an hour after that. Um, I, I don't know. It might have been sooner. It might have been later than an hour, but um, there was no movement in those apartments. I was able to see people um, to the left and right of the impact zone, um, and they were okay, but if anybody was in those apartments, I'd just pray for them. I understand that, that there was construction happening on the building. That's why cranes were in the area. But at the time the crane collapsed, do you know if they were actually actively being operated? Um, that I don't know. Um, I'm pretty sure that they do work seven days a week. I do not know if there was anybody on the construction site at the time that it fell. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a, it's an ever going presence. Like in our, in our building, there's, I can walk out of my balcony and I see two large cranes every day. And um, it was weird when I walked out today, I didn't see them. And then all of a sudden they fell. So I don't know. Wow. Wow. And, and what was the weather at that moment when that crane collapsed? Like I said earlier, it was like a sunny, beautiful day and people at the pool and then it just got dark very quickly and the wind picked up um, something fierce and it got dark and it was over within a matter of seconds. And then like now, like the other girl said, it's pretty, pretty nice out here now. There's a breeze, but it's a little bit cloudy, but it's not raining anymore. Um, yeah. So Mother Nature okay. is... It's very powerful. No kidding. It can be monstrous. Uh, Abby Carney, I'm glad you're okay. Thank you for sharing your photos you. with us and telling us more about what you know and what you saw.